Hey guys, Mila Clark Buckley, The Hangry Woman here, and today I'm doing a quick video to show you how I inject my insulin. If you're new here, quick recap. I'm Mila, I have latent autoimmune diabetes in adults, which is a slow progressing form of type one diabetes, and I make videos about diabetes lifestyle, cooking, diabetes topics, stigma, all kinds of stuff about diabetes. If you like that kind of content and you're looking for someone like you and you're looking for a community of people who understand you and understand where you're coming from, you can join us here by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to this channel. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my insulin pen, reset, and then I'm gonna show you very quickly how to take insulin. As a kind of quick aside, the very first time that I'd gotten my insulin pen about four years ago, I uh, cried when I first had to take insulin. I was really scared of it. I thought it was gonna hurt. Taking insulin does not hurt. You may feel a little bit of a pinch. You may also feel a little bit of burning from the insulin, but that is totally normal. That is totally okay. And that is just something that happens when you take insulin. I'm gonna show you where and how I take it in different areas of your body that you can take it, as well as just what the overall process is like, because I gotta take it anyway today, so I might as well show you how I do it. So let me go grab it, and then we're gonna do a quick reset, and I will show you how it's done. First up, I'm gonna show you the tools that you need for taking your insulin. So I have my insulin pen. I don't know if it's upside down or not, but that's my insulin pen. I take an insulin called Traceba, one of the insulins I take. It is a long acting insulin, so it lasts in my body for 24 hours. And I take it one time every 24 hours. So it's one injection per day for this particular insulin. You may also be on a short acting insulin. Um, there are lots of different labels of short acting insulin. And that just means that it's going to last in your body for less time. I think they peak up to uh, 30 minutes. And yeah, it's a different type of insulin than what this is. But the, what I'm gonna show you is kind of the same application. You just may have specified times from your doctor to take your insulin. So follow those directions, but this is the pen at least, <laughs> so you can see the tool. Then we also have our alcohol swabs. These are really important as they help to keep your area sterile. And so I use one for my skin and one for my pen each time. Then we also have our little needle. And this is a, I think this is a Novafine Plus needle. They're very, very small. I'll show it to you again when it's on the pen, but they are super tiny, um, not thick at all, and they're also very short. So it's really not gonna hurt when you do your injection. So first things first, I'm going to get my skin prepped. So as a woman, I wear a bra. I don't know what you do if you're a dude, but I can tuck my shirt into my bra and then I can find the area that I want to inject in. I'm just gonna choose this area because I like to rotate my injections. You should rotate your injections because you don't want to develop lipodystrophy in your skin. It, it makes your insulin not as effective because it won't absorb into your skin and then in turn your bloodstream enough. So you wanna make sure rotate your injections. There are many different sites you can do your injections. You can do the stomach area, which I like to do. You can do the sides of your arms. So like if you wanna inject like here, just don't inject into muscle. So, you know, this is a great area also. Um, your thighs are an okay area to also inject. Like I said, just don't inject into muscle because then your insulin will get used up way too fast and you'll end up with a very sharp low. So that's not what you wanna do. So first things first, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves because this is a really hard job. And I'm gonna take one of my sterile alcohol pads and I'm gonna open that up. And then I'm gonna clean the area that I wanna inject. So I'm gonna squeeze just so I know what that area is. And then I'm done with that. Then I'm gonna take my insulin pen, I'm gonna uncap it. And then I have my other sterile alcohol swab. I'll uncap that, or there's no cap on it, but 
I'll undo it and then I'll clean the top of this. And I like to just clean it because you never know like where you're gonna put it or if you like lay it down on the counter, things like that. So I just always tend to clean the top of that. And then I have my pen needle, which is gonna go on top of the pen. So your pen needles should always have a cover on them. If it doesn't, don't use it. Uh, put it in a sharp spin and get a new one. So it should be covered and sealed. That's how you know that it is safe to use and hasn't been used before. And then you're gonna pull the top off of that. Take your pen needle and assemble it onto the pen by sticking it on top and then giving it a twist. It should look like that. It should not fall off, but this part does pop off. So you have two caps on your pen needle. You have your first cap here, and then you have your second cap that protects it. And then there you go, you have your pen needle right there. If you don't see a droplet, so right now you can see kind of like this little droplet that's coming up, that's coming out of the pen. If you don't see that, you still do want to make sure that your pen is working. So what you can do is on your pen, there is a little dial right between zero and two. And you can use that to test out to make sure that your insulin is coming out of the pen needle without actually having to waste any units. Um, it is the one unit mark, but I think it's totally fine to just use that one unit just to triple check that you're doing the right thing and that your units of insulin that you're taking are correct. So then you're gonna turn it, it's backwards for me, so you're gonna turn it to the number of units that you would take and let me just do mine. So I take 30 units of Traceba each day, once a day, so 30 units for the whole day. And then you're gonna grab the skin that you cleaned and swabbed and then push the needle in. And I tend to go pretty fast. It's in there, you can kind of see and then push down till that last click. So it'll click a bunch all the way down till it gets to zero. And then I just hold it there for a few seconds, just make sure that I got everything out of there. And then pull it out. Don't You don't like wanna wiggle it around and stuff. And then you're done and that's it. So I'm gonna put my clothes back on. <laughs> But that's pretty much all that you have to do. Then when you are finished with it, make sure that your pen got back to zero, which mine did, because you wanna make sure that you got all the insulin out, and then carefully recap this pen. So I put both caps right back on, and then you untwist, and then you put the main cap back on. And then you stick your pen back in the refrigerator. If you do choose to leave your pen out at room temperature, that's okay. You just have to make sure to use it within 28 days. I recommend just sticking it back in the fridge just so you're safe and you can use it until the expiration date, which is typically printed on your insulin pen. But that's it. So that's it, that's how you take insulin. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.